So I just got done unpacking this, so let's take a closer look at what comes inside here. Just gotta open that carefully so it doesn't break the hinges there. So first you have the, the Ryzen 7 1800X and there's the chip right there, if you can see it. And on the seal here, um, it says AM4 socket, discrete graphics required, not for resale, no heat sink fan included. So big old box just for that little chip there. And then we'll open that up in a second. And then so your Ryzen is here, powerful and purpose efficient design. And different people got different motherboards, probably different memory. And I know some got third party coolers. So with my system is the Corsair Vengeance LPX 3000 megahertz DDR4 RAM. So I got 16 gigabytes here. I do have a matching pair coming in the mail, so I'll have 32, gig 32 gigabytes in my system eventually. Um, a little card here, are you ready for Ryzen? And, and in order to fit this motherboard and this in the and the CPU in the box, they had to take out a box from this motherboard here so that it could get pushed down just a little bit to fit in the box and have the box closed without breaking the hinges. That's okay by me. And the motherboard is the MSI X370 X Power Gaming Titanium, which is titanium in color. It has a nice see-through window and has a pretty nice feature set here. And one of the things that I like is there's an actual physical toggle um, for Game Boost right there. So it's a little knob right on the motherboard itself. So you can see other features, DDR4 Boost, um, VR Boost, there's a little VR chip there to uh, for lower latency and increasing signals to your VR headset. Um, there's a VR shield, I don't know if you can see right there or sorry, M2 shield, and some people think that's actually detrimental. It might trap heat, but we'll see. Yeah, I do have a M2 NVMe SSD to put in there, so let's take a look. And, and of course the box here is made by Woodchuck Buy One Plant One, so I guess if you buy one of these Walnut boxes here that I'll plant another walnut tree. And a nice little latch. Latch there to keep it closed. Nice little handle here. Pretty cool display piece. I'm gonna store stuff in there. Alright, so let's open up the CPU here. Pretty big box with lots of empty space, maybe for a cooler eventually. Um, installation instructions. Have the Ryzen chip here. And a sticker. Let's see if you could get that to focus. And you could see Ryzen is etched into the chip itself. It's pretty neat. So at the top there's AMD Ryzen 7 1800X and then AMD Ryzen here, then all the other bitty info there. And then a Ryzen 7 case badge for you there. There's the back of it. I'll pop this out later on when I'm ready to do my build. Um, Memory's memory. I'll open that later when I'm ready to pop that into the motherboard, but let's take a closer look at the motherboard itself. So, actually before, let me, before I open that, let me show you. So this is the box that was supposed to be inside this box here. And it's actually some neat stuff here. Um, there's that SLA cable, I don't need that. But 
you know, there's all these SATA cables here and they're, you know, silver slash titanium colored. So, you know, when you're connecting your hard drives and whatever other things you want to put in there, they'll match the motherboard. There's a back plate there. It's a driver DVD. Really neat case badge there. And these are, I believe, RGB cables for lighting, going to install lighting. And instruction book, what is this? MSI poster, is that what it is? Right, let's get to the good stuff here. Oh, look at that. So I'm not sure if this was used or not used before in one of their demos, but you have steel reinforced slots here for the RAM. Also down here on the PCI slots. There's that knob I was talking about. I guess that's overclocking. There's that NVMe shield right there. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six SATA ports. I want to say that's a USB 3 header. Not sure what this is here. No, there's an AM4 mounts right there. Lots of protection on this side of the motherboard. Probably some really good heat dissipation here on the VRM. And Here's a input output port. So there's HDMI and display port. Got a couple different USB ports here. I want to say maybe those are 3.1 or maybe 2.0. Not sure what the colors mean th these days. There's a USB C right there. Yeah, it's a great looking motherboard. Here, let's take a look at the back. Wow, it's all silver. Love it, can't wait to get this installed. We got that, got our chip ready to go on there. Then we got our memory. I think I'm almost ready to go. All right, let's get this build going.